Our panel is here, raring to go. So is Tommy. He's ready to share all of your thoughts with us yes. as well. Thanks, Tommy. Let's meet our guests this week. Ash, welcome to you all. Morning. 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 Frederick, let's start with you. So we're asking, do our soldiers need p perhaps protection from prosecution? Uh, well, yes. Uh, on this because Theresa May has said she wants to stop vexatious or end vexatious claims against troops. Absolutely. And it's clear, unfair and, and it's on clear that that's unacceptable if the process isn't correct. But do you think that troops should be immune from prosecution? I think they will no longer. Uh, that our soldiers will no longer be pursued by European law. Which um, Ajmal, there are two thousand cases being investigated at the moment. Why do you think? Um, so many. There are so many. In our Bristol studio is Lieutenant Colonel Nicholas Mercer, who was the Army's top legal officer in Iraq in 2003. This morning we've heard from um, former Prime Minister Tony Blair, who's condemned uh, the prosecutions or the, the vexatious claims made against soldiers. Uh, can we get your view, um, Lieutenant Colonel? Uh, and, but yes, should, but I'm should not there be? Not I'm they are. Frederick's, <laughs> Frederick's point, perhaps, is that the rules, how you'd behave on the high. Fair enough, I think thrown his so, got away. So, indeed. Okay, Tommy, thanks. Ajma. I agree with the last statement, but Christianity was also founded in the Middle East. Exactly. I'm going to get okay. Okay. So uh, slaughtering shit. Gentlemen, enough. <laughs> um, we're done. <laughs> Shalina, thank, thank you. you so much for your time as well. I think you figured out that's just about us from us. All from us today. <laughs> Peace. Goodness. Peace. Many thanks to all of my panellists. Thank you very much. Um, and to you for taking part as well. We're going to leave you with a special song from the rock band Deacon Blue. It's called The Believers. It was inspired by Europe's migrant crisis. From everyone here and the Sunday Morning Live team, have a lovely day.